I'm gonna hit the Dania Beach Pier, which I've never hit before. I've got my same two setups that I was using on the last two piers. And let's see how we work out. As always on every pier, all the veterans are all the way in the back. So I had to uh, pick up this spot here. So what I'm gonna do to start, shrimp again on the high low on my light setup which is my uh, travel right here, the South Bend Eclipse light and 2000 size pen fears, which is the, actually, this is actually the first pen, pen fears, guys. Pen fears one, and I had this for years. And look, never disappointed me. It's caught so many fish, it's awesome. So I have this here. And on my other rod, which is my ugly stick travel rod, four piece, I put some squid. And my plan is to hopefully I could get a small fish and lifeline them. But for now, I'm just going to dump some squid and see if I get any hitters on that. So that's how I'm starting it up today, guys. This fishing pier session. And I'm hoping to catch more species. All right. Oh, yep, they got me. Here it is, guys. Both shrimps. Okay. That's all right. Go back at it. First fish on of the day. There's a tiny pork fish. Hey, you know what? At least I got something. No skunk at this beer. I was trying to catch um, right something mark. small so I could cut them up or, or just lifeline them. Oh, you see what I, you, you know what I mean? Now, and I see all the I see all the veterans in the back of the pier. I'm pretty sure you back there too, ain't you? I'm, oh, I am. Ain't nothing back there, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm back! I'm back! Ain't nothing back there, bro. Everything gone, gone. I saw some guys with some Spanish, with some Spanish mackerels. Oh, you got ballyhoo. Nice, dude. Thank you, man. So what I do? Just cut them up, right? Just cut it up and do. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate I it. I got all kind of beef. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. I got all kind of beef. What's this? It's all in your Oh, okay. All kind of beef. How many I can take of these? I do. Oh, dude. I, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, man. I got ice and all, bro. I'm going. As you saw, the gentleman was very nice. They hooked me up with some cut bait. And. Some little tiny sardines. So what I'm gonna he gave me some ballyhoo that I cut up and he gave me some sardines. So what I'm gonna do now on this rod, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this guy out. See if I can get any better luck on the cut bit. Well this one is not cut, but you guys know what I mean. I have some cut bait there, I have this guy here now. I'm hoping to get a hit now. Let's see. Number two right here. That's bait right there. This one I can use. This one I can lifeline. You can put him on a, you can put him on, a, on another rod with a float and put him on there for a stroke. Still clean them up like real fast. Nice. Thanks, bud. So just caught this uh little grunt here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lifeline this guy. See if I get any big fish to hit this guy. Okay, I'm gonna cast him through here. See if I get any luck on him. There he goes. Lifeline and a grunt for first time for me. So let's see what happens. That's another thing guys, you gotta be careful when you come to Florida or any other states. Some fish you cannot use as bait, okay? Um, that fish I already found out I can, but you need to make sure, because first of all, you know, it's very important that you guys know the laws. And when it comes to uh, to all these fish here, first of all, you, you wanna avoid the fine, and on top of that, you know, you, you don't wanna use fish that you're not supposed to be using all right so let's see how this guy works out here 
this. I got my two little pieces of shrimp. <clears throat> While I wait, could this go? Oh, wait, 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 guys. Uh, that, that post moving, but I think it's just a grunt moving. Nobody took him yet. Fish on. What is this? A little tiny fish here. What is this thing? Oh, this is something different, guys. It's a pretty little fish. I don't know what this is. Some type of grunt. Nice with yellow colors. Wow, what a pretty fish this guy is. There's definitely something else. So far, I got three little fish. But at least I'm not skunked. And I'm waiting for something better on that rod there. With that with that grunt life line. Bait up real quick and go hit my last spot here in Florida. This is gonna be my last session of this uh, Florida series down here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm coming back to the Dania Beach Pier that I hit yesterday. I didn't do too good. I've got a couple hours before I gotta head back and uh, take my flight back to Jersey. So let's see how I do today. What I got for bait at the, at the uh, bait shop is this frozen shrimp. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I also bought this little rig, which is just a drop, high load rig, which is a snapper rig. Two hooks like I use most of the time when I'm pier fishing and my first goal right now is to uh, catch a legal species of fish that could lifeline or cut a scut bait and that's what I'm gonna put on the other rod so let me try to get a little fish here like I said that's legal for the use as bait. Uh, I know for a fact you can use grunts. Fish on, I've been trying. I've been getting my bait. This is uh, another one of these pork fish. Now guys, these guys, you cannot lifeline. They're protected, so I gotta release this guy, but pretty fish. I've been catching so many of these guys, but yeah, there he goes. Pork fish. Listen, listen to him. That's what I call them pork fish. Any fish that can use this bait, what I'm gonna do for now, I'm gonna dump this gulp, which I use in Jersey with a type of fluke. Let's see if I'll get something here for me. So even on the bottom with that slip, slip sinker rig. And I'm still gonna continue to try to get some bait with this. Finally got one guys. I've been biting this for a long time. This fish keep on taking my bait. There it goes. I gotta check on this guy, but at least another species. I know I never caught this before. There it goes. I'll find out where it is for sure, guys, and I, uh, I'll post it up. What is this? Yes, another species, guys. Well, I was looking at the picture. Look at this. Awesome. I don't even know what this is. Some type of houndfish, needlefish. I gotta find out. Kind of awesome. We'll call it a session. Uh, I gotta have my I gotta have my butt back to the airport. I gotta fly back to Jersey within a couple of hours. 
I've been down here for two and a half days. I've been fishing non-stop and my goal was to get as many new species as possible and I have accomplished that. I have not sure how many exactly I will be counting and post it up at the end. But I do appreciate you guys watching uh, this crazy adventure I just did. My first fishing marathon for this long. And like I said before, I do travel a lot. Thanks, you know, uh, due to the COVID, I haven't. But I will be, and you guys will see that. Thank you for watching. Take care.